Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's poor program, in today's video, I'm going to tell you an important program. Program to print each digit of a number. Let us see how we are going to do that. Write a program in Java to print each digit of a number. So here I'm going to tell how to individually extract the digits. Why I'm telling this program is important is because many number programs are based on this logic. If you understand this logic, you can easily solve many other number programs like tech number, Nivean number, special digit number, bus number. There are so many programs which is based on this logic. Okay, let us start doing this program now. Here I have the program in Java. Uh, class print number, public static void main, string args, scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in. I've declared a variable int num and I am prompting the user to enter a number. That number is going to be stored in num. Now we are going to use a while loop here because the question says print each digit of a number using a while loop in Java. So while loop is a pre-tested loop that means first this condition is tested and then only you are going to enter into the loop. If the condition is false here it is not going to work at all. So here we have had a while loop. Inside this loop I am having a variable called as digit which I have declared and initialized here because I put int digit which is equal to num mod 10. What does the mod operator do? The mod operator gives us the reminder. So if I have taken a number here and I am going to take the reminder, I am going to take the reminder from this particular number when I do a mod 10. I can, uh, you may ask me, I can do with some other digit also. But the question here is, we need to print each digit of the number. So, we have to take this number as 10. Then, and after that, the second step here is to print the digit. And then, I am saying num is equal to num by 10. Because I want to uh, extract each and every digit into what number I have entered. I will explain to the, you to this, this logic in the next slide. So that it is easier for you to understand. So here... We have this program logic here. So let us say that I have taken this num, num equal to 27. Now we are going to check whether this condition is true or not. So num not equal to 0, the test condition I have marked it as 1. And once I enter into the loop body, digit, I am going to find out the value of digit by num mod 10. It is the second step. And then I am going to print the digit here. The digit is, and then I am going to say num is equal to num by 10. So if you observe here, I have put an arrow here because this while loop is going to continuously iterate till num becomes equal to 0. Then the condition becomes false. Now let us lo logically look at all the steps in this particular program. Here my initial value of num is equal to 27 while num not equal to 0. So 27 is not equal to 0. The condition is true. It goes to the second step digit equal to num mod 10. So digit equal to num mod 10 means 27 mod 10. So I have shown you here so that it is more uh, easier to understand. So when I divide 27 by 10, 10 twos are 20, I get the remainder 7. That's what has been put here. So the third step is the digit is plus digit. That means it is going to print the digit first as 7. After that we have this fourth step num is equal to num by 10. So 27 by 10 will actually give me the integer division so that I have to take the quotient. So here the value will be 2. So num, the, uh, num it has become 2 now in the fourth step. So again it goes on the top of the loop. So 2 is not equal to 0 while 2 not equal to 0. 2 is not definitely equal to 0. So it come to this point. Here digit is equal to 2 mod 10. So 2 mod 10. Now you may wonder how can we do a 2 mod 10. This is a smaller number and this is a greater number. But we need to remember that we are doing a, we are doing these div uh, number divisions in the integer value. Okay. Not on a decimal value. So look at the step 2 now. Here I am going to put 2 inside and the divisor will be 10. So if I have to do a normal division the answer would be 0 point something. Yes. But now we get the same reminder. So take this as one important tip, whenever there is a smaller number before the modulo, uh, let it be any number on this side which is bigger than this number, then this number will be the 
reminder for example it can be if i say it is 8 modulo 15 then 8 will be the reminder in this case we have 2 modulo 10 so 2 will be the reminder after that the third step is to print the digit the digit here that will be printed will be 2 and then we have num is equal to 2 by 10 2 by 10 is the quotient here so this quotient 0 will be printed so when num becomes 0 here 0 is not equal to 0 yes so it is false and then the loop stops hope you understood this program logic this logic is very important in many of your number problems as i said earlier now let us see the output when you run the program which i showed you earlier so this is the output that you get when i enter the number you get 27 so you get the uh, digit extra individual digits that is 7 and 2 you may observe here first 7 is printed and then and then 2 is printed because here when we are doing it is when we do a mod 10 the last number of the digit is extracted first and then the uh, tens place is extracted okay so hope you understood this program if you like my video please share and subscribe thank you Thank you.